going on guys I wanted to do a little bit of a video talking about some of my experiences living off-grid and you know living pretty much completely on cryptocurrency while I've been out here in Iquitos Peru I haven't done a whole lot of update videos on more of kind of my lifestyle out here and some of the things that I've been doing um, it's a very beautiful place it's been a, a very interesting experience I think for a lot of people that have been watching my channel um, I haven't really you know uh, discussed some of the things that have been going on in those aspects just recently have come back into the city and moved into an apartment and I'm looking at uh, spending a little bit more time here uh, just because of some of the challenges you know that I've had living off-grid that I wasn't fully anticipating I moved everything out onto my land, moved out of uh, the uh, the place that I was living at the time, and uh, you know I had a had a place that was built, you know, kind of a, a first house, and I was hoping to to make that work. And some of the things I wasn't necessarily expecting, and I was kind of warned about, but I, I wasn't having some of those those uh, experiences just yet, in terms of you know problems with electronics. Um, just you know some of the, the the climate out there the jungle is very a very harsh climate and I'm uh, you know was starting to to recognize and, and realize some of those uh, the more I was spending time out there so for instance uh, you know the first thing that happened was one of my laptops a brand new laptop uh, the screen just uh, completely you know kind of went went out and it was it was essentially because of humidity or moisture and and that was my, my PC, not my Macs. My Macs, surprisingly, you know, haven't had any issues just yet. You know, fingers crossed. You know, that I'm, um, you know, it's so my Macs have been doing pretty well. Um, and then, you know, just recently I started having issues with my phone. My, my phone screen was getting worse and worse and worse. And then ultimately, you know, went out. So I just had the screen replaced. But, you know, usually, you know, with Apple products, you know, when, you, when you replace the screen, it's not necessarily the same, you know, after you replace them. So. I'm noticing a couple of issues, you know, with that. So, just my electronics, a lot of the wires and uh, the things that I was connecting to and, and running things on the generator. It's, it's been a learning experience trying to to deal with some of some of those. And so, I think what I'm going to have to do moving forward is is have a, a little bit of a different strategy. So, my initial idea with my land out there was to offer housing, you know, jungle experiences, um, you know, shaman experiences, and and a lot of things, you know, that are more geared towards the tourism industry here in Iquitos, and that, that does pretty well. However, there's, there's been a lot of issues, you know, with, with my house, um, with, with uh, insects, so namely with, with termites. Termites have been really the big one. The termites have just been unrelentless. It's, it's very difficult to, to deal with those, and um, I'm, I'm just now learning, uh, you know, some, some more strategies to kind of keep those at bay. Um, but you know the termites they, they kind of they, they'll like they like you know some of those wooden, wooden structures that are you know protected from the rain and so it, they just they'll they'll get in to everything you know I, I sometimes I'll take like gas and um, uh, like a little used motor oil and you mix that together and you can spray that on there they have another thing called tea foam which is used for insects and uh, there's a new one that I need to buy and, and experiment and and see if that can solve some of those issues. So the, the termites have been one of the, the big issues because it, it, it's destruction. It will damage your physical, the, the, the physical building. It'll damage the durability of, you know, whatever you're building out there. And so those are things you really need to stay on top of. Ants have been another big one. Um, they can, some of the, like the leaf cutter ants or things like that, they'll get into your clothes. They'll start eating up like plastic. I had, you know, some issues with that. and. You know, out there in the jungle, it's like, you know, a small problem can turn into a really big problem really fast if you don't stay on top of it. So, like, I had one where I, I was keeping a couple of things, like, up high, and uh, the ants got into it, and there must have been, like, five to 10,000 ants, you know, fairly large-sized ants that started creating, you know, their own home there. And so I had to go in there and clean all of those out. And those things, man, they, they hurt when they bite. Um, and so I had like some plastic up there. They completely destroyed all of the plastic. So there's been a lot of challenges, you know, with that, with uh, my electronics, uh, with the wires and things like that. A lot of them have been starting to like turn black and I didn't really understand why. Um, you know, I've been told like it's like insect poop or something like that. But, um, you know, the wires, 
with, with a lot of my electronics have been experiencing issues. Um, you know, there's, there's some other things that are maybe a little bit more scary, you know, for people when they, when they see them. Like, you know, I had some encounters with some tarantulas and some very large uh, spiders. They have some, some really big spiders that'll kind of crawl into nooks and crannies. So I, I pulled out my shoe one time and there was a, there was a, a you know, a spider the size of my hand. <laughs> I, like, I shared, you know, some of the videos with that in, in, in my, my private group. But, you know, that's, uh, you know, that was some of the things that I, uh, you know, had to expect kind of living out in the jungle. But um, some of the, 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 the destructive aspects of them are, are some of the things that, um, you know, I, I thought that I would be able to stay on top of and they've become increasingly harder to deal with. So I decided I think that I'm going to move some more of the, the sensitive things, my electronics and things that were experiencing issues out in the jungle and move those back into the city, um, perhaps looking at at buying a um, you know a uh, you know a small home here in in the near future uh, when I'm able to afford one um, you know I'm kind of hoping to get into some crypto projects and maybe one of them does really well and I can use you know some of the the profits from that to to purchase a home you can get homes here very very economically very very cheaply um, you know and so I'm hoping that I can I can have some success with some of the crypto projects that I'm going to be involved with and and use that to, to um, you know, look at getting a home. Going back out to my land, I have a guardian, you know, a guy with a gun that's going to be guarding my property uh, that I've worked with for uh, quite a long time, and I have a good amount of trust in him. And so he's going to be guarding my property, doing a little bit of maintenance and those sort of things. And he knows a lot more about what needs to be done out of the on the property. And so I'm thinking that that's going to be a, a good solution for right now. And I want to move back out onto my land and spend some more time there once things get a little bit better. I think one of the things that I could do is, is uh, you know, if I had like a concrete structure uh, building that has a little bit more protection um, from some of the elements and uh, maybe incorporating something like a, an air conditioner, you know, with a, with a generator when, when things are, are much hotter, when the climate's much hotter, then I can use that to kind of, um, you know, take some of the moisture out of the air, dehumidify it a little bit, and that might be a better environment for having something like an office where you have a little bit more electronics and things like that. But in terms of like clothes and, and a lot of the other things that are there, you, you, you know, you really need to wrap everything. You need to put everything in plastic. You need to put in, in plastic, you know, bins, um, plastic bags. Uh, and that's been some of the suggestions that I've, I've received from people that have kind of lived in these areas, there's a lot of people that do that here in the city. Is that they put things, you know, away in plastic bags and and uh, plastic containers to protect them. You know, that's kind of what I'm doing, and I think that I'm going to have my structures that I'm working on out and on my property are going to be a little bit more basic, and they're not going to have as many issues, hopefully, with some of the uh, the insects and and the animals in, in the future. Um, you know, things just get really dirty out there. You know, with with uh, you know spider webs, cobwebs. Uh, you know, dead insects, uh, mosquitoes everywhere. Uh, recently, we kind of had some issues with with uh, little jungle jungle mice. Um, so we set up some traps, and I killed like I think like five mice over the past like two weeks. They just get in, they get into our house, and they just get into everything, and they start making noise in the night. Uh, what a lot of people will do out there in the jungles, you know, they'll get a cat, and some of the cats are good at, at keeping some of those those types of rodents, you know, at bay. But uh, yeah, I mean, those are those have been some of the, the things that I've been dealing with, and um, it's it's made a little bit difficult on top of some of the the internet issues you know that I've had out there. You know, I recently got Starlink, and that was you know it was it was it was doing better. It tends to kind of break up, you know, at times like it'll lose connections. So the Starlink tends to lose its connection sometimes. So if you're doing like some sort of uh, video conferencing or um, you know any type of you know live thing. It, it doesn't always really, um, you know, it, it'll, it'll cut out for just a second and then that kind of knocks you out. That can, can disconnect you and that's just enough for it to, to kind of have some of, some of the issues where, you, you know, you don't have the best connectivity. They have some towers out there and, and it's been raining so hard, it kind of just turning the corner on the wet season. And, you know, the humidity was just so much out there. Um, I, I, I built, you know, some bungalows and I kind of showed that in some of my other videos where, you know, these, these, the, the, the bungalows were completely, 
you know, um, un, like underwater, like on the, the paths to get to them, you know, the, the water was almost knee deep because out in, out in the jungle, it, the ground, you know, just below that initial surface, it's like a clay and the water doesn't really penetrate. It doesn't really seep through. It just, it kind of sits there on the surface. And when it rains really, really hard like that, that, that uh, water, it, it just, it just doesn't go. It just doesn't dissipate. It just, it just kind of pools there and, and everything becomes kind of like a, a wetland. And um, so a everything with, with the bungalows and um, the, my projects that I was doing in the back of the property, there's it, just so much water, so much humidity. And that I feel like was, was something that uh, was perhaps a little bit of a mistake on my part. I wasn't really anticipating that. I was thinking that would have been a really interesting place for someone to come out and and spend the night in the jungle and uh, I went back there not too long ago after you know building this it's it's only you know you know between four or five months old you know the the construction and everything and, and just everything was in in really bad condition and it just wasn't suitable you know even if I finished the project to, to have someone stay there at least at this time of year you know perhaps during the summer when things dry out a little bit more it'll be a little bit different but uh, you know I had to abandon that project temporarily and really kind of consolidate my my things and, and, and put them a little bit more in in the front of the property and um, you know m maybe focus a little bit more on the areas that are closer to the river that have a little bit more value and a little bit closer to the transportation infrastructure there on the Amazon so that's that's was kind of my plan as I, I started consolidating a lot of the things out there on my land and um, trying to figure out you know what I can do to to continue to work, you know, to continue to try to, to get online and do videos and post more regularly. And uh, I think that I ended up deciding that, you know, for now I'm gonna need to spend a little bit more time in the city and, um, you know, try to have a little bit of a different game plan.